Hey, what's up, guys? All right. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the strategies that you can use to actually build a community around TikTok. So it's not like Instagram where you can have like a picture post or, you know, you can have like a meme pictures for your specific brand or a lot of brands that I personally work with. They focus on a very specific customer target market, but they use a lot of these meme videos, meme pictures on Instagram to actually grow their channel. And it works uh, pretty good in some cases. But with TikTok, it's a little bit different game when it comes to building content in, on TikTok specifically. So first thing first, of course, TikTok is a very video focused platform. And in order to scale, you have to keep the attention spam as much as possible because people scroll really really fast on tiktok compared to instagram if if people are seeing instagram reels or you know they're looking at a picture or they can go in comments and see the comments you know it's it's not that fast compared to tiktok since it's a video pa platform so when when it comes to like building a brand building community around tiktok there are multiple things that you can do. And one of the most important thing is to build UGC style content. And it's, I will show you a video of Foxy Bay and I worked with Foxy Bay myself and I use Foxy Bay in a lot of my videos. And I showed the, you the examples of these specific brands because these brands are worth, you know, 200, 300 million dollars. And these brands started from nothing, you know, less than 10 years ago. And you can, see like they have like thousands and thousands of uh, influencers promoting their products. And it's because of a reason. Foxy Bay uses these influencers to promote the products where these guys just review the product. They do a product demonstration on how to actually use the product, uh, a Foxy Bay product on their hairs. And they do these uh, hairstyles, they use curlers, they use flattened iron and different products to actually make themselves look pretty. Of course, it's a woman brand, so they look like normal person in the beginning or with rough hairs and then they use Foxy Bear spray and then they make their hair super, super straight or like they do like different cur type of curls with the flat iron too. But you get the idea of like uh, this person is not selling the product. It's not even talking about the product. She's just creating video on how the hairs look like in the uh, before. She used the hairspray. She put the uh, hair uh, straightening iron, and that's it. And that's how the end product looks like. And you could actually see like this video is like one minute five second long. There is nothing, you know, major going on. But the pro the the thing is that. A lot of people get engagement from these type of videos because the girls, they don't sell the product, but they, they uh, indirectly sell the product of talking about the product. So if I show you this girl, she got 200,000 um, views and she got comments and people are just talking about like, hey, this looks good. Does it comes with this tool, that tool, or they're just like talking, right? So it's a commu good communication starter, but she's using this product and a lot of people get uh, excited about like seeing the end, end result. And even though they, they ha might have like a product itself, you know, from Amazon they, that they purchase, but just like using the name of the brand in the beginning of the video makes a huge difference of like how much sales Foxy Bay gets. Uh, just for your context, uh, Foxy Bay do over 48% revenue from uh, organic social media channels. And that's all these influencers talking about the products. So it's basically an indirect way of selling the products online, but also, you know, building a community where the community is like, damn, these products are really good. Or this person looks really good by using like a curler brand like this one or like a new uh, a series they just came up with, uh, with with a blow dryer, hair curler, and flattener iron. So these type of things works really good when it comes to like building a brand or scaling your brand. So think about it when it comes to your product line, what type of products that you can promote in UGC style content to actually build, uh, you know, a huge spike in the market where people are talking about your brand or like using your product. Um, 
And yeah, so this is it for this video, guys. Hope you like it. My name is Daniel. I'm a part of introbridge.io. If you need any help on the scaling side, influence, uh, influencer marketing or affiliate marketing, and you need help with scaling your brand online, click the link in the description below, schedule a call with me, and I would be happy to help. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.